Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The world of farming is changing. From the power and versatility of Steiger and Magnum tractors to the legendary reliability of axial flow combines, Case IH can help you be ready. To learn more, visit caseih.com forward slash be ready. We're getting a lot of questions this fall about do I need wing tips on my deep ripper or should I go back to straight tips? We'll talk about that in today's Iron Talk. With drier soils compared to wetter soils that we've had in previous falls, the conditions are so much different. We do want you to take a look at your points if you're doing some deep ripping. We're seeing as much fracture this year with a two inch point as we normally would with seven inch winged points. So in that case, it depends on what kind of job you're trying to do out in your field. For us, we like the narrow points. We're just trying to slice through compaction and give a spot for our roots to go down. If you want to have everything black in your field, you may consider using the wing tips. But here's what we're seeing this year. I think we may have a seed bed that's going to be too soft out there for us to drive through. We're creating too much disturbance through this rock hard soil with the winged points. In many cases, we're advising guys, go back to that narrow point, take the wings off for this fall, and you'll do just as much work as you normally have been doing with winged points in the wetter conditions. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.